Welcome. My name is Anton Lohmann from the University of Oldenburg, and today I'll be presenting our work performed in the frame of the EU Sounds Project in cooperation with KU Leuven and Fraunhofer IDMT with the title Derivation in Acoustic Sensor Networks Using Weighted Prediction Error with Microphone Dependent Prediction Delays. When recording a speech source using microphones inside a room, reverberation due to acoustic reflections may degrade the quality and intelligibility of the recorded speech. Hence, effective derivation is required for many applications. A popular multi-channel derivation algorithm is a weighted prediction error, or WPE algorithm, which uses a fixed prediction delay to trade off between distortion to the derivated output and a large amount of reverberation remaining in the output signal. The smaller the prediction delay, the lower the amount of residual reverberation at the cost of more distortion in the output signal. When considering an acoustic sensor network with spatially distributed microphones, the time differences arrival or TDOAs between the source and the different microphones may be large and diverse. Here, Using a fixed prediction delay may lead to a suboptimal trade-off, where the overall delay in each microphone may be too small or too large. Therefore, we propose applying TDOA compensation to the WP input in order to optimize this trade-off for all microphones, which leads to microphone-dependent prediction delays. I will now discuss the proposed WPE algorithm with microphone-dependent prediction delays before presenting simulation results in an acoustic sensor network where microphone-dependent prediction delays are shown to significantly outperform the use of a fixed prediction delay. In the STFT domain, the WP algorithm estimates and subtracts the undesired reverberant component R from the reference microphone signal X1 to obtain the desired derivated output D. In estimating the undesired reverberant component, WP input is first delayed by the prediction delay tau, which has previously been proposed to be fixed across all microphones. In this presentation, we propose using microphone-dependent prediction delays tau m to predict the undesired reverberant estimate. After applying TDA compensation in the SCFU domain, the microphone-dependent prediction delays tau m can be defined as a sum of the fixed prediction delay tau with a microphone-dependent TDOA compensation term composed of the TDOA between the reference microphone and microphone M, denoted as TDOA M, and the SCFT shift L shift. By splitting the TDOA TDOA M into a corresponding integer frame component, delta frame, a remaining integer sample component, delta samp, and a fractional sample component, delta frac, the non-integer microphone-dependent prediction delays, tau m, can be decomposed into an integer frame delay, tau int, and the remaining non-integer frame delay, which can be implemented using crossband filters, um, in the SCFT domain, following previous work published by Avergal and Cohen. We propose three different methods to implement the microphone-dependent prediction delays, tau m. In the first method, we perform optimal TOA compensation using non-integer microphone-dependent prediction delays with crossband filtering. Here, the crossband filters UM are implemented across all crossbands K dash. However, due to the high computational complexity of crossband filtering, we also propose a band-to-band -band approximation by only considering the filtering operations in each subband K for the crossband filters UM. As a further approximation, we perform coarse TDOA compensation using integer microphone-dependent prediction delays by neglecting the crossband filters UM entirely. In the following scenario, I will now compare the three proposed microphone-dependent prediction delay schemes to a fixed prediction delay. The simulated scenario consists of a room of dimensions eight by eight by five meters, with nine spatially distributed microphones indicated by a blue circle, with a fixed reference microphone indicated by a red circle. In total, 48 source positions are considered, indicated by a blue triangle, with simulated room impulse responses 
generated by the randomized image method using three reverberation times. WPE was implemented with a prediction delay parameter tau equal to two, and the filter length LG equal to eight, 12, and 16, proportional to the duration time, respectively. A frame size of 64 milliseconds was used with 75% overlapping square root Han windows. The TDOAs were estimated using the popular GCCFAT algorithm. And for additional parameters used, please refer to the paper. This figure shows the average performance improvement in terms of frequency-weighted segmental SNR for the three variation times and the four considered algorithms, namely, in blue, the conventional WPE with a fixed prediction delay, and in red, yellow, and purple, the three proposed schemes for the microphone-dependent prediction delays. Additional performance metrics are included in the paper. We can first observe that the proposed microphone-dependent prediction delays outperform the use of a fixed prediction delay for all three variation times. Comparing between the three proposed schemes, we see that the use of non-integer delays outperforms the use of only integer delays. Furthermore, the band-to-band -band approximation performs only marginally worse than using cross-band filtering. We can further evaluate the proposed schemes using audio examples. Here, for the source position in the upper right corner. First, let's listen to the unprocessed reverberant audio signal. In tradition and in poetry, the marriage bed is a place of unity and harmony. Next, to the signal processed using WPE with a fixed prediction delay. In tradition and in poetry, the marriage bed is a place of unity and harmony. And finally, to the signal processed using WPE with microphone dependent prediction delays. Here, using crossband filtering. In tradition and in poetry, the marriage bed is a place of unity and harmony. As you can hear, there is a significant amount of distortion in the derivated output when using only a fixed prediction delay. Using microphone dependent prediction delays, we're able to significantly reduce the distortion by optimizing the trade off between distortion and a large amount of reverberation in the derivated output. Thank you for listening. If you're interested, please have a look at the full published paper. And please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Hope you enjoy the conference and see you next time.